The views and opinions expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of the staff and management of Salem Media of Hawaii. Welcome to Generations Radio, where the focus is on our seniors and their families. We are here each Saturday afternoon from 5 until 6 p.m., bringing you resourceful information with our radio team of professionals in the field of aging. Stay with us for the next one hour as we explore different ways to make life more exciting and meaningful for our extraordinary seniors. Right here on AM 690, The Answer. And now, here is our host and the publisher of Generations Magazine, Percy Ihara. Good afternoon and welcome to Generations Radio again. This is Percy Ihara, your host every Saturday and Sunday. As you know, Saturdays from 5 to 6, Sundays from 3 to 4, and just thank you for all your emails regarding uh, our archived um, shows that are on our website, generations808.com. Uh, it's a great idea that we thought about that we can archive all these shows. So go to generations808.com. Look in the middle right. You'll see uh, the website. Um, you'll see uh, our Generations Radio. You have to click on the list. If you, if you don't want to listen to the current one, that's up right now. So click on the list, and for the last, I don't know, three or four months, we have all the shows archived. If you want any of those other shows from earlier this year, uh, email me, percy at generations808.com, and uh, we'll give you a link to that. So anyway, today is going to be a, uh, a healthy day. We're going to have our first uh, guest, uh, Julie Moon, our, our resident physical therapist in Generations Magazine. And then the second half is going to be a new um, business partner with us. As regarding the Kayani uh, product, it's a new health product. It's been around for a little while, but I just got to learn about it, got to taste it, got to try it. And so we're going to have Tammy Masuda call in on the second half of the show. So welcome to everybody. I did want to mention um, the following week, uh, July, I'm sorry, July, uh, November 19th, we have our government programs workshop at the All Moana Pacific Building. Uh, it's on the 15th floor. Look for 1518, I believe the suite number is. It's Mr. Abe Lee's real estate uh, training class there. It's at the Ala Moana Pacific Building, November 19th. It's actually from 9 to 1130. And we're going to feature the three major uh, government pro- federal programs, which is going to be Social Security. And we're going to have Jane Briggs say from the Social Security Administration, come on. We're going to have next Miss Martha Clopin from... The, uh, her own agency, GetToInsurance.com website. Uh, Martha Clopin does a regular uh, show here on AM690, uh, the Medicare Moment with Martha. She'll be talking about the nuances of this year's application process, uh, the different changes with the Medicare in 2016 going forward. As you guys know, this is the um, enrollment period for Medicare statewide up until I believe is December 7th. So uh, listen to that, her. As well, the last one will be Medicaid. We're going to talk about the growing Medicaid issues, how to apply, how to qualify, and really just the process. We're going to have Cassandra Stewart, one of our other Generations Magazine business partners. Uh, she's with Cardin Outreach, and she used to work for the Department of Health, so she knows a lot about Medicaid and what's going on and any changes. Uh, so it's really important to learn, understand these those three, Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security, because as you get older... It's going to be very, very important to do your research to really understand uh, all these three federal programs, which does a great job, but you really need to understand how they work and how they intertwine in your um, life. As you know, the October, November of Generations Magazine is out and about, and we feature and cover three beautiful women, uh, Faye Rawls Schock uh, on the left side. In the middle, we have Miss um, uh, Lori, Lauren Bachran, and on the right, we have... Um, Terry Rainey from Maui, and we should, if you want to listen to that, uh, we featured uh, Laurie Bachran on our uh, radio show about three weeks ago, so go to our generations808.com and look for her on that radio website. It's really important to kind of understand, she's 86 and a half, she's okay for me to mention that age, she's very proud of it, very healthy, takes no medications, but I'll tell you, she is uh, got a lot of energy and you probably learn why, why she's so healthy and why she has so much energy. It's just her lifestyle. It's what she's been doing. She's been staying healthy, exercising, uh, staying healthy with her, her the health food products. And it's really important to kind of look at her as a role model, um, but really for you to take action. You know, the Nike uh, three words, just do it, 
always is one of my mantras in life that we just got to do it. We got to get things done and do our research and learn about healthy aging. So the October issue is out. October, November issue is out. In December, January, which will be out middle of January, I'm sorry, December, uh, we'll feature uh, Father um, a Pastor that works down at Kalal Papa, which uh, is a great, great story. He actually worked for Mother Teresa for 20 years. He got transferred to Maui and eventually to Kalal Papa. And some great photos in that issue coming out middle of December, the December, February issues. So anyway, we're talking about healthy aging. And as, as you guys heard about four weeks ago, we had Alan Matsushima uh, talking about the Kangen water. And slowly, I've been spending a lot more time in the health, healthy aging arena. Uh, Kangen water was my first venture, uh, understanding it, reading about it, doing my research, and actually using the product. And uh, if you want to live healthy, the three components, the three main, main legs is eating right. Uh, we'll probably have Dr. Shintani on one of these days to have him talk about that. Exercise, and lastly is, is water, because your body is about 60%, 70% water, so we need to put the right water into our system. And actually, thanks for all the calls and emails regarding uh, the Canyon water system. Um, it was an interesting uh, time to, to really uh, learn about water, and I was not even aware how important water is. And as you age, uh, for, I believe around the 70, 75 age, age bracket, your body kind of starts to reject water. It doesn't want water, but it's really important that you you drink your water. And it's really important to understand uh, when you, especially if you're taking medications, you really need to um, drink water with your medication because dehydration is is really really rampant with seniors. And if you, it couples with if you don't drink your water uh, with your medication, uh, it's really it's a serious uh, situation and, and very detrimental. Because your body's going to get dehydrated, you might hallucinate, you might uh, fall, and we don't want that to happen. So we're going to continue to, to, to move forward with the healthy aging arena, and we want to be able to make sure that you guys are fully informed about all the different products out there and which ones are good. And I would just suggest you try them. So we'll be here very shortly with Julie Moon, our physical therapist. Um, and it's one of the things that um, I've been fortunate to have friends that in the, in the physical therapy field. Uh, for those of you that may not know, I had two shoulder surgeries in the last two years and um, went to two rehab places, friends of mine, and did some work. And then a friend of mine told me about uh, Julie Moon's uh, place. And and it was really important to, uh, to learn about the different types. And Julie Moon has land-based therapy. And the other one we have is aqua therapy. So anyway, so we have uh, Julie Moon here, our, our guest for the show today. Julie, can, are you there? Hi. Good afternoon, Julie. How are you? I'm good. I was just talking about how I, I went to two land-based therapists, and a friend of mine uh, talked about, oh, man, you should really try this aqua therapy. And I, <laughs> I had no clue what aqua therapy is. And so Julie Moon's our resident physical therapist in Generations Magazine. You can read about her every issue. You can go online and read about her at Moon Physical Therapy. You have your own website, right, Julie? Mm-hmm. And so tell us the difference between, I mean, tell us, first of all, aqua therapy and why it's so important because I love it. I mean, I wouldn't go back to land therapy, unfortunately, but tell us really <laughs> more about what aqua therapy is. Well, um, we have at our facility an endless pool, and um, we keep our water warm, so it's about 92 degrees. Um, we take one patient at a time, and the sessions run about an hour, so they get that one-on-one treatment. Um, and it's really great to actually be able to treat these patients that have chronic pain um, because of the weightlessness of the water. It helps ease pain, improves range of motion. Um, they're able to uh, perform strengthening exercises a lot easier than if they were on land. Yeah, so how big is that pool, by the way? And just let for disclosure, I, I go there two to three times a week, and I do maintenance on my shoulder, and I swim. But yeah. how big is it really that pool? Because it, it fits me okay. I'm 5'10". It fits me fine, but how big is yeah. it, your pool? It's about it's 8 by 15 feet. And we have a multi-depth pool, so our deepest level is four and a half feet, and then we also have a three and a half feet area. 
Right. And so for, for those of you that may not know what the endless pool is, what is it exactly is an endless pool? Well, it's a, um, in the, the front of the pool, we have what's called a, it's a broad base current where we can adjust the settings. And um, that the water comes out, so the patients are able to run against the current, um, swim against the current, do different deep water exercises against the current, and we can grade it to uh, to their level, um, so we can make it harder. Um, um, as harder as they want to be, it can go up to Olympic speed, or it can be really easy and just provide a little bit of resistance. And it actually is better than a regular lap pool because we can improve their strength to a level that it's easier for them to transition to land. Yeah, I mean, I, I've worked my way up to about 9 on out of 10. So, <laughs> uh, But I have, I have to tell people, I only swim for about 15, 20 minutes. Cause <laughs> that's a hard swim. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's what's interesting about the pool. There's been other, other places with a pool, but with that endless pool where it pushes water out, um, you kind of you can go use resistance training in the heated water, and that I think to me, I mean, I try to go in the morning. That water is just so soothing, and sometimes I want to take a take a lie down, and take a nap in a pool. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's very relaxing, and for those patients that have a lot of pain, it it really helps to uh, relieve that you know those spastic muscles, those really tight muscles, and and in general, you know, a lot of our patients. They say that after their first session, they sleep really well. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can attest to that. I, I went there, and I'll tell you, about the first two or three weeks, boy, I was yawning. When I go in the morning, by <laughs> noon, I was yawning, and I had to take a short nap because it, that water, <laughs> the heat, it, I mean, it's, it's 92 degrees is really great. It's not real hot where you can't stand it, but it's just perfect. Right. Um, but so for, for aqua therapy, are there certain specific um, – uh, clients or people that have had surgery or back or shoulder. Like I use it for my shoulder, which I love. I, I really don't like to swim. But, mm-hmm. you know, when you told me to get my goggle and snorkel and use my snorkel a lot, um, uh, it, it, I love to swim in the water now. So I don't have to come up right. and breathe like that. I swim, I swim with my snorkel on. But are there specific areas where people are, you, know, you see more people using the pool besides the back and the knees? Well, we, um, we of course, treat a lot of chronic pain patients that have gone – and tried other um, types of treatment. And um, when none, when the other types of treatments, they don't work, um, we typically are the last resort. So um, a lot of the chronic pain patients come to us. Uh, we get, of course, post-surgical patients like hips, um, ankles, uh, uh, neck, shoulder. Um, the reason why we taught you to use the mask and snorkel um, was because when people are on their stomach just floating, um, it actually helps relieve their neck tightness. And then you can do a lot of different shoulder movements, which also help, you know, any type of shoulder pain. Um, we also uh, treat fibromyalgia patients in the warm water. They respond really well. Um, and then any type of arthritis. Um, I've had patients that when they're pregnant, they have back pain. So that feels really good when they're exercising in the water. Huh. And how, how, does, how does it work with arthritis? It just soothes the pain? Yeah. Well, you know, the, the warmth of the water is one thing. Um, it, it helps relieve uh, the joint pain. And then they're able to strengthen those muscles around the joint without exacerbating their pain. So because they're dealing with the weightlessness of the water, they can do a lot more in the water and not have that adverse reaction that they would if they were running on land or walking on land. That's interesting. So I, I noticed you have different apparatus there. Like I use the foam dumbbells. Uh, yeah. Explain to the audience what the, how, how the foam dumbbells work in the water. Yeah, so we have a lot of what we call toys, but they're actually exercise equipment. Um, we have three levels of the foam dumbbells that you use, um, and they, they vary in weight, so the easiest, uh, dumbbell is about two pounds per force, two pounds of force, and then it goes up to six pounds of force each. Um, so it might not sound um, like a lot of weight, but when you're dealing with the um, the pressure and the viscosity, or you know, of the water when you're pushing those foam dumbbells through the water, it really is a challenge to keep your body stable. Um, 
And then we also have other things. We have other hydrotone bells, um, ankle weights, wrist weights that we can use. Yeah, so um, with the ankle weights, uh, is that for like your knee or your hip your movement to improve the strength? Yep, we can add additional resistance with other things like ankle weights when we're doing uh, strengthening exercises for the leg, um, whether it is the ankle, the knee, or the hip. You know, when I work out, I see people coming after me, and every day is different, and I've noticed a lot of people with back pain. Yeah. Does that really help Help with the, I mean, to, to before you even think of surgery, they should probably give you a call to work that yeah. out. Yeah, our, our uh, back patients, they love the water because as soon as they get into the water, they, um, they feel that relief of the weight pressing on their spine. And when you're in water to about chest level, it takes off, you know, 80% of your body weight. So I often you know, at their first session, they often see that relief that they have on their faces and um, they're able to actually just, um, you know, move better, start strengthening around their core, which is really important for the back. Um, The entire time that they're in there for an hour, you have to keep your core stable, which means you have to keep your abdominals contracted and your back muscles contracted because if you're not, the water's going to be pushing you in all different directions and you're not going to be able to maintain your balance. So what's different in the water than on land is it's a really great cue, the water is, to help maintain your core contracted the entire time. Right. And that that's so important with, with everything in our life. I mean, is that why you guys make us do so much sit-ups? So important. <laughs> important but see even oh. for those back patients on land they can't do sit up right that's so right yeah in the water you really have to it's a really great strengthening exercise for those abs and you you don't you're not stressing your back by having to do those sit ups right and and so i noticed for you if you walk into julie moon's physical th- therapy office there off a ward uh We'll talk about how to get there and where to park and everything. But when you come in the door, the, the pool's on the left. On on the right side, you have your land-based therapy. So explain to that's yours. That's standard. That's what what ninety five, ninety eight percent of the therapists in town. That's what they do, right? Land therapy. Right. Yeah. It's it's basically traditional land-based therapy, and everybody, you know, a lot of the physical therapists they have their own techniques as far as what they do on land. Um, but it's basically um, you know, strengthening exercises. Um, there's different machines that we do. Um, I specialize in cardiopulmonary rehab. So I treat also not just the typical um, orthopedic injuries, but I also treat patients with heart issues or um, pulmonary issues. So like, like ladies that have strokes, things like that? Yes, yes. Or, you know, after heart surgery or if people have um, high blood pressure, um, uh, if they have COPD, you know, those those patients we, we can treat here. So when somebody has COPD, what exactly do you do for them? Um, so we teach them basic. Um, I have to meet with them first so that I can figure out what type of goals they want to achieve. Um we for, for pulmonary rehab, I design specific exercises that help improve their respiratory function. Um, and we have different things like I have an uh, oxygen saturation machine that we can help them uh, when they're on each machine. They can monitor themselves to make sure they're breathing at a safe level. So they and put up is like a mask or something? No, no, no. It's just it goes on their finger like. Um, a lot of people experience in the hospital Mm -hmm. and it just tells you your level of oxygen that you have in your blood when you exercise. And what we try to do is maintain a a good level while they're on each machine. And a lot of times when people come in, they, they don't really breathe properly. They breathe from their upper respiratory muscles in the chest versus the low diaphragm, which is a main respiratory muscle. And so we teach them how to breathe more efficiently and more effectively. Wow. Wait, well, we, did you ever see the article in a magazine from, from Valerie Chang, who is the head of the COPD organization here? We've got to get you two together. I, yeah, I think so. <laughs> do, you know, do you know Valerie? 
No, no, okay. no. Well, see, there you go. I, I didn't even know you did that, specialize in that. But yeah. for, for, for like you said, um, stroke patients and heart attack patients, what, what, what kind of specialized um, therapy do you do with them? So um, I, uh, we do a specific cardiac program for them. So we check, we monitor their um, blood pressure, their heart rate, and their oxygen levels while they're exercising. And um, just like with the pulmonary patients, I meet with them first and I assess their limitations and um, we set goals for them. And then um, I, uh, uh, we, we monitor them as they're exercising and a lot of them, when they come in, their blood pressure levels at rest are pretty high. Mm-hmm. And um, so eventually, within about maybe a month, um, most of our patients, their resting blood pressure is uh, decreased, so within a normal level. And then when they're on the machines, they're able to maintain their heart rate and their blood pressure at normal levels. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. So, you know, for, you know, because I play a lot of sports and I see people my age, and a lot of people, I, I'm, I'm really surprised and I'm actually amazed how many people play hurt. And these are mostly guys, the guys that play golf and softball I play with. I'm surprised how many people play hurt. And so I always tell them, talk to your doctor, go get a, go to, ask for some sessions, some physical therapy sessions. And so how does that work? Do they have to, when they meet with their doctor, does the doctor have to um, okay the, the um, six sessions or the minimum sessions to go see a physical therapist? Um, yeah, uh, in order for their, insur- their medical insurance to cover the sessions, um, they need a physician's referral, and each insurance plan offers different types of visits. So um, certain sessions, uh, certain insurance companies will only give maybe six. Some of them will give 12 to 15. So it all depends. Yeah, so like I had I had two surgeries on my shoulder, so I went through two different type two different um, times of physical therapy, and and so when if they don't know about you or aqua therapy, they typically the doctor or surgeon will typically just refer them to their friend, right? Right. Well, yeah, or you know, um, but they can ask for you, right? Yeah, I mean the the patient they actually have a choice of where to go and. Um, you can you can definitely say that you know you'd like to try this place and and see what happens or if it's more convenient you know uh, a lot of times the doctors will send their patients to uh, a physical therapist that's closer to them right so. and so but you can request more if there's still there's pain right or if it doesn't really work yeah that's, so that's yeah. what I did I went I you know I had surgery and I. And uh, it didn't help after like six or 12 sessions. And I asked for more. And so my doctor recommended more. But it really depends on the insurance company, right? Right. And if, if you're not happy with uh, the place that you're going to, then you can uh, request to go at a, you know, to a different place. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and that's, exactly, that's exactly what I did. Um, so when people, so they always, you always do an assessment when they first come in, right? Always, I always do an initial evaluation, and that um, I can that allows me to see where what what their limitations are, and then we work together to set specific goals that they want to achieve. Okay, and so what I also notice, and, and not, I'm not saying any any physical therapist is wrong, but some do hands on and some do not. So can you explain that difference between therapists? Right. So. Um, not all physical therapists do manual therapy. Or manual, okay. Right, which is a form of, um, we do soft tissue work, we stretch your vertebra or your joints, um, uh, we do different techniques. Um, that's basically just hands-on patients, uh, on the patient. Um, some PTs only like to do exercise. And yeah, I mean, I love hands-on or, or manual <laughs> yeah. therapy because that... I mean, they stretch like for my shoulder. They stretch it out. They they kind of massage the pain area. Because that's that. What are you, what exactly are you doing? You're breaking up the tissue and creating blood flow. Right. It's well. It's it's anything from improving your range of motion. It relieves pain um, for certain areas where you're very tight or you have uh, joint tightness. We're able to relieve uh, the the tight muscle fibers. Um, so for 
you know, with my 16 years of experience, I've just noticed that a combination of the manual and the exercise is important. It helps them get better faster. Yes, absolutely. And I also wanted to talk about, because you wrote an article recently in Generations Magazine about laser therapy. Can you explain to our audience that maybe doesn't know what laser therapy is? Yeah, so we have a low-level laser. Um, it's also called cold laser. And uh, the reason why they call it cold laser is just because it doesn't burn the skin like some of the other lasers that you find in, like, um, you know, plastic surgery offices and that kind of stuff. Right, and so right. uh, what it does, it, um, it actually promotes new cell growth and it relieves pain. Um, it's very safe. And it, it, it now is it's actually coming becoming really popular um, because it offers a non-intrusive option to like surgery or acupuncture. Um, there's no recovery time; it's painless. You just feel a uh, like a nice warmth, um, and and it can range. You know, patients can come in maybe from five treatments up to twenty treatments. It all depends on what type of conditions that we're treating. And so when you go to your doctor, do they, does the doctor recommend a laser therapy or do you have to re- request it? Or, or when they come in the first time, do you recommend that? How does that decision-making go? Um, so the doctor would just refer to physical therapy just in general. Um, I'm not really sure if a lot of the physicians out there you even know what, uh, request, <laughs> yeah, or request specifically what, you know, but um, if, if, if there's anybody that, you know, that, I mean, I've treated patients with bad migraines, and it's helped. Um, we can treat jaw pain with laser, um, any type of arthritis or tendonitis, um, any type of, like, plantar fasciitis we can treat with laser. And it works really well. And so, but, but it doesn't create any pain, is that correct? It just, no, what, no. What, is it, what exactly is it doing? Is this breaking up the tissues inside or creating blood flow? What exactly is it doing? <clears throat> well, it's, um, so it's, it's basically a form of light to the area of injury. And it, so the light penetrates the skin, um, and it's a certain type of wavelength that the laser emits. And then it actually triggers new cell growth, and it, which relieves pain. So it, um, it, in the end, it, it, just, it, it involves, uh, it repairs the area, and at the same time, it decreases their symptoms. Hmm. Is that what you were doing that one time? I had a, I had, a I had a bruise on my leg. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I had a guy. I, yes. I, I had a I had a big big welt on my shin, and it wouldn't go down for like a month, and I was getting <laughs> kind of worried a little bit. And so Julie put that laser thing on my leg, and and it, I, by the way, it went down by consider, really? by about eighty yeah, percent. It's still a bruise there. Uh, I, I was playing a softball game, and a young boy hit a young hit a dark bullet to me, and I hit my leg. And in fact, I it was so funny. I was I saw the guy's father yesterday. He goes, "Hey, my, by the way, the, my son, that's the guy who hit the ball at your leg." It's so funny. Just out of the blue, I saw the guy yesterday. He goes, "Hey, you're Percy, right?" He goes, "Yeah." Oh, sorry, my son hit the ball. He hit your leg, and I said, "Brother, it's still still swollen a little bit." But um, anyway, Julie, so how do people get a hold of you? And uh, I'm on your website right now. I love your website. Did you change this or is this, is this always hey. the same? Um, no, we recently redid it. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, yeah. great website, Moon PT, physical therapist, PT.com. And, and actually, I like your um, pictures in there. Um, <laughs> and so her, her phone number is 597-1005, right? Yep. Five nine seven one thousand five. So, if you could tell any, because I know you have a lot of seniors there. If you could tell your any of your clients, you know, after a surgery or when they're finished therapy, what's the best thing for them to do, so they don't come back and see you? <laughs> when they're, you mean when they're when they when they're graduated? Done, yeah, when they graduated, they done. They're kind of okay. What do you tell them? So, so when our patients graduate, um, they know that they need to continue with their home exercise program. With, so we set them up with an exercise program, whether it's stretching or strengthening program, and um, that will actually help them carry over so that they don't get sore again. And how long do they do that for that for continually? It's a it's a lifelong <laughs> it's a okay. lifelong Good change. Yeah, it absolutely is. It's, it's, it's something that I think 
you know, I was talking to somebody this morning about this, is that everything is going toward going toward healthy aging. You right. Know, they Medicare gives you free, you know, most Medicare plans and check your plan. Most of them give you free YMCA, 24-hour fitness, or silver sneakers because they don't want you back in hospital, right? Right. It's all about kind of creating a new routine when they go through therapy. You know, it's not a quick fix. This is kind of a, a new lifestyle change. So, so they need to just continue with their program that we give them, and they should be good. Okay. Well, this is Julie Moon here, uh, my physical therapist and our the resident physical therapist in Generations Magazine. Julie, thank you so much for contributing writing and, and being a business partner of ours. And, and hopefully next year we'll come have you come back and speak at our Aging in Place workshop uh, yes. next year. But uh, anyway, Julie Moon, folks, thank you very much, Julie, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Aloha. We will be right back with Percy Ihara from Generations Radio. If you have any questions or want to be part of our discussion, give us a call at 296-5467. That's 296-5467. This is Generations Radio on AM690, The Answer. Moon Physical Therapy is here to help you back to recovery. Moon Physical Therapy is located on Ward Avenue across from Sports Authority. Physician prescribed for motor vehicle accidents, workman's comp, or that body pain that comes from rushing to play without warming up. Also event cardiopulmonary rehabilitation with our one-on-one patient care. Moon's Aqua Therapy heated endless pool allows for low impact exercise with less pain on land. We will give you the right exercises to get you back to health. Ask your doctor to prescribe Moon Physical Therapy. Moon Physical Therapy. We achieve results. Aloha. This is Martha Clopin. And Al Harrington. Choosing the right Medicare plan not only saves you money, it also helps you avoid headaches and heartaches down the road. We want to remind everyone to listen to a Medicare moment with Martha. Sundays from 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. as we help answer important questions on Medicare so you can stay healthy, wealthy, and wise all year long. Call me at 543-2073. 543-2073. I was an addict from the age of 13. I finally decided it was time for a change. I walked into the Salvation Army Adult Rehabilitation Center, and that got me ready for the real world. Now, I choose to be guided by Jesus Christ, and today, I'm building a powerful and promising future, free from drugs and alcohol. Please shop at the Salvation Army Family Stores. With our discounted sales, your support through your purchase helps men live a clean, sober, and productive life. Got Vegas on your mind? Get Vacations Hawaii on the line. Vacations Hawaii offers weekly four- and five-night Honolulu to Vegas packages, which include three meals daily from six ninety nine. dollars Stay at Hawaii's favorite casinos, California, Fremont, Main Street Station, and Orleans Hotel. Vacations Hawaii will get you there in comfort on deluxe wide-body 767 planes with complimentary in-flight hot meal service. Vacations Hawaii's frequent flyer program gives you future travel discounts and credits. So if you're ready to win big, call Vacations Hawaii at 591-4777 or visit pointvacationshawaii.com. High's Steakhouse Waikiki, a special place to celebrate your next special occasion. Dine on High's succulent Alaskan king crab, fresh oysters Rockefeller, and signature Kiave seared roast rack of lamb, amongst other favorites. Marvel at tableside creations like the classic Caesar salad and signature desserts. For reservations, call 922-5555. Online at highswaikiki.com. Celebrate your next special occasion at High's Steakhouse Waikiki. Proper dress required. Today, more than ever, we local people are living longer than any other state in the union with more seniors, baby boomers, and caregivers. Generations Radio promotes the importance to be proactive as we all age. The radio team will focus on issues facing our seniors and their families, finding resources to navigate healthy aging along with financial, legal, and caregiving information. So join Percy E. Hauer from 5 until 6 each Saturday 
right here on AM 690, The Answer. Focusing on the issues facing our seniors and their families today. Here's our Generations Radio host, Percy Ihara. Back to, welcome back to Generations Radio. I am Percy Ihara, your host, here every Saturday from 5 to 6, Sunday from 3 to 4. And go to our website, generations808.com, to view some of our past issues, but also our archived websites, um, our websites, our archived radio shows uh, like this one, which will be on next by next week. Uh, on healthy aging with you, uh, thanks to me, to Julie Moon, our first uh, half hour guest, our resident physical therapist in Generations Magazine. And if you've never tried aqua therapy, um, I would highly, highly recommend it. I went to two different physical therapists, land based, and they were great. But when I tried uh, aqua therapy, I fell in love with it. And if you have issues with your back, your hip, your knees, uh, like myself, shoulder. I recommend it because the 92 degrees of water, the being in water, it, it kind of weightless, so it doesn't put stress on your joints. Um, it's really important to understand that, uh, you know, using weights to work it out and, and doing training in physical therapy is good, but for us older people, it puts more strain on the joints. And so that's why I like aqua therapy. And 92 degrees of water is very therapeutic. So anyway, we're trying to keep with the theme <clears throat> of healthy aging. And, you know, as I've been telling you, I've been working with uh, a number of people and uh, in the healthy aging field. And so we're going to talk about uh, the Kayani uh, product now uh, with Tammy Masuda. And how are you, Tammy? Hi, hi, hi Tammy. Hi. Hello. So Tammy Masuda, you are with uh, now with uh, Kayani and <laughs> That's that health product we've seen around. We've seen with the senior fairs, new product shows. Tell our listeners what Kayani is. Kayani is um, products that uh, the founders found uh, two superfoods, wild Alaskan blueberry and uh, uh, wild Alaskan sockeye salmon that provides a lot of health uh, issues for health support. So was this founded in Alaska? Yes. Really? Uh Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't know that. (laughs) Good news to me. Yeah. Uh, Well, salmon, we all know about salmon, but in what was the other one? Blueberries? Wild Alaskan blueberries. Wild Alaskan blueberries. Yeah. uh, It's very important because it's grown in, like, harsh conditions, and so the wild Alaskan blueberries provide, like, up to five times antioxidants versus the, the regular common blueberries. So oh, I didn't know there were. I didn't know there were different kind of blueberries. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's so awesome. and yeah, we all know it, blueberries are the new antioxidant of, um, berry or fruit. But so, how does that work? So they 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 grow that out in the wild, and then what do they do? To, and where they create they create uh, a few um, many products. But explain that process to me again, because I'm kind of learning about it. Um, I I did find myself with more energy. So. To, I've been testing the sure. product out, guys. So yeah, it's, there's actually three products that we use on a daily basis, and the first product is the one in the morning, which has the wild Alaskan blueberries, and it has a blend of 22 other superfoods like the acai berry, grapeseed, aronia, mangosteen, pomegranate, wolfberry, which is like the goji berry. You know, there's a lot of um, and spinach, broccoli, kale, aloe vera, ashwagandha. There's a lot of Superfoods blended in here, and it's just a juice that you need to drink in the morning. One ounce. Yeah, it's only one ounce, but you can't even taste. Most pro- prominent is that blueberry, but you can't taste the broccoli or the other right. veggies in there. Yes, it's very easy to drink. It, it really is. It's highly concentrated, though. Yeah, so you yes. kind of you kind of have to uh, drink it with uh, water or something, right? Yeah, you can mm-hmm. you can put water in it to reduce it down to for the flavor, whatever flavor you want. Yeah. Okay, so what is, what exactly is, does that do? So it helps to maintain, you know, the antioxidants fights the free radicals, you know, in the air, and helps to main, help to maintain your heart health. You know, helps to reduce your stress, support your immune system. You know, gives you increased energy, and also helps your mental health. So when you say mental health, what what exactly are we, are we, is the, is the um, Kayani doing? Yeah. Like it helps you to be more alert and focused. Like if you're at work or uh, if you're in school or studying, it gives you that alertness and focus that you know 
support so, so is that the reason why what made you decided to uh, uh, offer the Kayani product in your business it actually helped I had a, a knee that I sprained that was hurting for like three months I was anticipating calling a doctor already t- you so, yourself yeah oh too much too much zumba huh <laughs> It's fun, but, you know, it hurt, so I had to stop Zumba, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, because it hurt too much. And even my, my children were telling me, Mom, you're walking fine. I said, because my knees hurt. So, you know, somebody told me about this product, shared the product with me. I had been taking it, and the third day, my pain went away. It's like, I couldn't believe it. And this is all natural, you know, stuff they're taking. That's, so. what I, that's one thing I noticed about the Kayani. It's all natural. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so, so are you back to doing Zumba or exercising? Or you're... Yes, well, I'm actually on my treadmill again. So, <laughs> I'm kind of afraid to do Zumba yet. I just want to build up my system first. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've been taking a Kayani for how long now? It's three months already. Isn't that amazing how people find products after something happens or because of a health issue? Yes. A lot of the cases, that's how it is, right? Yeah, it is. I mean, we had Alan Matsushima on last month regarding the Kangen water and because he had health issues and, and for like yourself, mm-hmm. um, you had health issues. So because the reason why only only reason why I say that is that I'm trying to encourage people to do that, be proactive versus reactive. Right. That's why I'm trying to learn all these products. And so thank you for bringing this to me to do some research on it. I read a lot about Kayani and it's actually now, is it privately owned or it's a two families or two? Individuals? Yeah, there's founders. The families that founded it are two multimillionaires. So they wanted to pay it for it to help people with their health. And one is the, the Hansen family. They, you know, built up an oil refinery and own restaurants. And the other one is uh, uh, Carl Taylor with Taylor Farms, Idaho Potatoes. So, Idaho, you know, yeah. And is Hanson from Alaska? Yeah, they. I get. I believe they were on a trip, a fishing trip on Alaska when they came upon these products. So, oh, yeah. The Taylor family. <laughs> yep. Oh, and so well, why is that important to to uh, people that sell products or to, to the consumers? You know, being that they're multimillionaires, they're not taking a penny out of Kayani, so they're you know paying it back to the distributor who's helping to spread the word and you know, about the product and its greatness, you know, how it's helping so many people. And we're in 62 countries, so really? you know that this has got to be working, and it's all natural. So. And Kayani, guys, is spelled K-Y-A-N-I. A-N-I. Uh-huh. That's it. And what does Kayani mean, by, that, by the way? It means strong medicine. In what Actually, language is that? I believe it's, <laughs> a, it's an Eskimo tribe. Oh, really? In, yeah, Alaska. Well, I, li- I like the name. Just I, I know people don't say, well, how do I pronounce it? Kiani? Kiani? Yeah, it's, it's, it's Kiani. Kiani. It kind of sounds Hawaiian, too. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I, what, I did, what I typically do when I want to research products, I go on, I'll Google it or I'll, I'll go on YouTube and learn more about it because I'm really trying to find ways to and not really be a, a role model, but just try and test products out uh, mm-hmm. my own self, do my research and look at the good side, look at the bad side because this is, this is not sold by retail. Right. It's only you sold have to get word it of mouth through a distributor. <laughs> through a distributor, right? And so when you offered me to try this, I did. And so I love that. The, what, do you, what do you call that first product you take in the morning? Sunrise. Sunrise, right? I, I love that product. My wife loves that product because she was actually sick. Yeah. She, so she's gotten better. So that's the one you take in the morning every morning. Yes. And it's one ounce of this, like, it's like a super fruit vegetable smoothie. Juice. It's only an ounce. Right. And so the second product that you take with midday or all day, and what is that one? It's uh, uh, called Nitro FX, and it's made out of the noni plant. And so, uh, it, you know, the noni concentrate has been shown to increase the production of nitric oxide, which our body is normally uh-huh. supposed to produce. And as we get older, we produce less nitric oxide. So this Nitro FX helps us to uh, put this into our system so that we can help repair, defend, and maintain every cell in the body. And so what's inside that? It is just a noni concentrate. Um, see. It's all kind of stuff, guys. And I mean, I, I read up on it like, wow. But that one, that, yeah. that, that one during the daytime is drops, right? You drop it on your tongue? Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's you supposed can to do that you like three or four times a day. So is that like five-hour energy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's all natural and there's no caffeine? No caffeine. And so, I, I, you know, I don't know how that, that five-hour energy, you guys probably seen that at the 7-Eleven and the 
Longs and all these other stores where they sell it right by the counter because people are typically tired. And um, it's something that I think uh, is all natural, so there's nothing even to be afraid about. But it does give you a little energy, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So for business people, do you think it's perfect for them or people that work in strenuous, strenuous jobs? Absolutely, yes. And so when, 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 that, come, when that thing is done uh, and you're like, it's like 5 or 6 o'clock, you're having dinner, what's, what's the last or third product? The third product is, uh, is our Sunset Gel Caps, which has the omega-3s from the wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. And so, and you take three of that, and that, that in the evening. Those tab, <clears throat> those tablets. Well, what exactly is that? That is that has, just salmon, or what else is inside? Uh, there's also we have a uh, omega, uh, the most pot- potent form of vitamin E, the tocotrienols, and then um, also we have beta carotene in there, which is a source of vitamin A, and also the essential vitamin D in there. And so, why is that at nighttime? Uh, it helps to. Uh, help your cell health and, and your cardiovascular and immune system. So it works while you're sleeping to, so your body can repair itself. So that, and you get really good sleep with this, so you know that your body is you know, repairing itself. Well, I didn't try that one yet because I sleep pretty good. My mind goes, 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 and then all of a sudden I'm out. I'm out. You're out. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but so is, is, it, is it really essential to take all three every day? Kayani suggests it because it's the triangle of health for a total health support system. Okay. So, yeah. And so, uh, Tammy Masuda here on the radio now is in with Kayani, and she is actually going to have uh, start being a business partner in Generations Magazine. So, you'll see it in the December, January issue. Yeah, and you had three kind of really three. Um, uh, three products. Kind of yeah. products and, but that's kind of the pillars of life. Yes. Okay, so Tammy, um, so what do people need to do when they when they when they hear this radio show? Can was they should give you a call or email you or the website? Yeah, you can call me. Um, we're offering different workshops, so you can they can learn more about the products and and taste the product also and and see what it's like. So do you yeah. give like a free two, one week packet or yes, two week uh-huh. packet? Okay, so your workshop. So Tammy, what's the best number for them to reach you at? Uh, my number is three eight six two four six six. And they can either give you a call or text you, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Can you get a hold of you via email or is, is phone or text the best? Uh, phone or text is the best. Okay. Because you're going to have to, um, if you want to learn more about a product, I always recommend people besides Googling it and go on YouTube to meet somebody in person. I don't normally recommend buying things over the phone, or over the internet, but mm-hmm. um, meet the person in, in, in person. Go to a workshop if they have one. And you're going to be coming out some workshops, right? Yes. Uh-huh. And so give her a call, check out when her work, next workshops are, and uh, learn more about the product. I always recommend trying the product. Um, and so what do they do? They, if they, they want to um, uh, take advantage of the Kayani product, so um, it's like 100 something bucks a month, and you, is, is there a time frame where, where they got to commit to that, or is it month by month or annually, or how do they do that? Uh, it's a monthly, a monthly auto ship program that gives you the best price. Um, but if you be, if you become a distributor, you can get the best price. So the distributor means you basically, besides using the product, you'll be offering it to your friends. And I think that's really important. A lot of people don't like, you know, this is a multi-level, but a lot of people don't like that. But, mm-hmm. you know, it survives. How many years has Kayani been around now? Uh, they've been around for 10 years now. 10 years already? Mm-hmm. Wow. So kind of past that spike period. A lot of times these multi-level companies spike up and come back down. But So mm-hmm. they survive and... and um, yeah, I would recommend everybody to try that out and uh, uh, take it a taste test and then um, check out one of Tammy's workshops um, because this is really uh, it, it's something that you've recently done, but it, it, you've seen a lot of uh, positive from your body, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, we gotta, we got we to gotta end here, but I know you got to run off to another meeting. Um, but what would you tell somebody that's learning about the product right now? What would you tell them that... Um, why would they? Why should they try it? Kayani provides um, the, our three products. Provide it works synergistically to provide unmatched nutrition and optimal health with one easy to use system. And it, we're created using cutting edge science. 
to help you and your family experience more. Well, that's what I realized when I, when the, the two families got together. They're multimillionaires already, but they just wanted to pay it forward and uh, to offer this product. And it is great. Uh, if you want to stay healthy, I would highly recommend that. So, Tammy, again, your phone number? It's 386 386- Two four six six. Okay, Tammy. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. And look, look out for Tammy's article in the December issue of January issue magazine. Thanks, okay, Percy. Tammy. Thank okay, you. Okay, bye bye. Now, uh, I, did, I did want to mention um, we are coming out with our. Uh, let's see, we're going to be coming out with some workshops later on in the, in the month, uh, November and December. So check that out. Um, I also wanted to mention. Uh, let's see, where's my list of mentions here? Uh, we will be having those workshops in the end of November and December, and in January we'll be doing more aging in place workshops. Um, I did want to mention that our our government programs uh, uh, workshop we're going to probably repeat that in January or February because that just happened on, on November nineteenth. But uh, the workshop features uh, Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security, so we'll bring that out again in sometime in January or February. Um, don't forget to go to our website and like our website. Uh, for Facebook and LinkedIn, uh, you have to like our page. And as well, all our radio shows here are, are archived on uh, YouTube. So when you go to Generations Magazine, you need to uh, subscribe to our, our YouTube page so you get regular notices when the next show comes out. So thanks to Lee, our engineer here that gives us a uh, regular basis, gives us our link to our uh, radio shows so we can post it on our website. So please go ahead and like us on Facebook. Um, our, our LinkedIn page as well, but also our on YouTube, you have to subscribe to the Generations Magazine. So you're going to find a whole lot of workshops there and all our past sh- radio shows. So please go ahead and do that. Our December, January issue is coming out uh, middle of December this year. And it will feature uh, our resident pastor over at Kala Papa talking about uh, as we age, we all kind of go back to the church. We all kind of look at life in a different way, in a different manner, but he actually worked for Mother Teresa for 20 years, uh, moved to Maui, and actually went, was a pastor at our editor, uh, Catherine Smith's church, and then eventually uh, was uh, transplanted and moved over to Kalapapa on Molokai Island. And it's, uh, it's a great story. His, his story is fantastic, and um, I would highly recommend everybody pick that up as well. You, as you guys know, you can go to generations808.com. So, Coming uh, in, in the next month, December, January, moving forward, we are going to deal with more issues uh, besides healthy aging. Uh, we're going to tackle the, the disease of demen- uh, Alzheimer's and dementia, uh, Parkinson's. Uh, we're going to also tackle financing, long-term care, uh, caregiving. But if you want a topic specifically, uh, give us a call at 234-3117 or text me, 234-3117. Or email me, Percy, P-E-R-C-Y, at generations808.com. Because we're always looking for what interests you, what's important to you. And so you can uh, give us some heads, head, heads up on what you think is important to aging. Uh, and thanks to Mike Buck, who always uh, promotes our, our weekend shows on a Friday morning, about 6.35 every Friday morning on AM 690. I do an interview with Mike Buck to promote our weekend show. So uh, thank you so much to everybody. And thanks to our um, editor, uh, Catherine Smith, and Wilson Angel, our art director, and Sherry Goya, who helps out with our distribution and uh, advertising and business partners. Uh, 2016 is going to be a very busy year for myself. We're going to tackle the um, issue of uh, financing long-term care. And uh, I am the president for the Hawaii Pacific Gerontological Society. It's a society of over 400 professionals in the aging field. And we're going to be bringing to you more and more information from the academic side, from the University of Hawaii, to different associations like the Alzheimer's Association offers on aging. And we're going to bring to you more and more information to have you live a better life and as well to age well. So anyway, I'm Percy Yahara, your host here every Saturday from 5 to 6, Sunday from 3 to 4, uh, here on AM 690, The Answer. As always, gang, aloha and live well. (music) 